From beginner to expert, it's all here today on Beads, Baubles, and Jewels. Stephanie Girdlestone is here from Fire Mountain Gems, and she's here to teach us how to work with metal clay. Now, Stephanie, this is something that I love looking at the final product, but I'm a little nervous about getting into it. Are no. you going to make it easy? I'm going to make it very easy. Okay. Don't you worry. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> just like when you used to play with kid or clay when you were a kid, you just want to roll it up into a ball to begin with. Uh -huh. And this is a uh, metal clay. This is 99.9% pure silver. That is silver. It. it looks like clay. I know. It's exactly <laughs> what it is, and the clay burns off, and it has the molecules inside of it, and the heat of the kiln or the torch is what activates it to become <sighs> the pure silver. So it's really great. great for people who have metal allergies, you know, that can't wear That's sterling true. because they don't have all those other alloys. Right, so. mm -hmm. Okay, so what's yeah. the first step? First thing is we're going to roll it in a ball, which we've already done, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to lay it here. I'm laying it on a Teflon sheet on top of a ceramic uh, tile just to give myself a nice firm surface okay. to roll it on. I'm using this acrylic roller, mm -hmm. which has these two O-rings, which I just bought at the hardware store. And that's simply so that the clay does not get too thin, because when it does get too thin, it makes it difficult to fire, okay? That's a very good tip. So we're just going to go ahead and roll it out. You can see you have to kind of push hard on it to get okay. it to go. And sometimes it'll stick a little bit. And what you can do is you can put a little bit of olive oil on the roller, mm -hmm. and that will actually help. So I'll just okay. move it a little bit with my fingers to make it a little bit easier here. Okay. And I like to turn it sideways so that you get a nice flat surface. Surface. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to get your fingers very gooey with this because okay. it's it's so kind of one of those in. dive in things. Absolutely, really, right. we're working with metal, mm -hmm. not with clay, and you have to expect to get dirty. So it doesn't matter that it's kind of an unusual shape. What we're doing is using this rubber stamp, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to want the shape of the rubber stamp today. So I'm using the back of it mm -hmm. of the rubber block to get the shape of the pendant. Using a utility knife, I'm just quickly cutting the clay out. Okay, and I'm just going to go around all four sides, which is really easy. There and go. then there we go. Now I have the shape. Uh -huh. I'm going to turn my rubber stamp over and I'm going to imprint the shape into the clay. Now remember when you're using rubber stamps, you want nice, even pressure. You don't yeah. want to rock from so side to side. So you want to make side. sure you kind of put both mm -hmm. hands into it like you're doing it, yep, just like that. Exactly. Apply Again, don't be afraid to apply that pressure and, and mm -hmm. get this clay real dirty. And you can oh, see look, that, came out great. that it comes out really nice. Yeah. Last thing is simply using a regular coffee stir to make the hole in the corner. Mm -hmm. Be careful on that. You want to get it fairly close to the edge, but not too close because now, you are going to fire can it. Can you reuse that extra? Excess? Absolutely. You okay. would just pull it away from here and just, and just reuse use it for it. something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, good yep, to know. Absolutely. So once that's done, then we're going to let this dry. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of ways to let it dry. Katina, you can do it just overnight. Mm -hmm. You can just set it on your stove top or on your countertop and let it dry. Okay. Put it out in the sun. Uh, you can yeah, also use a good. dehydrator. Oh. It's kind of the preferred method. It's efficient. It's constant heat, and it circles around the piece at all times, so that's really great. Good tip. When you get it dry like this, then you kind of look at it, and you say, now, is it the right shape? Do I want to shape it a little different or anything like that? Now's the like time that? to do it. Now's the time to do that okay. while it's still there. We're just going to use a regular nail block that you would buy at the drugstore or um, jeweler files. Oh. If you had any extra clay in the hole, you could use a little file to clean it out so and things like that. something that you would file your nails with. Absolutely. Good. We're using the rubber block again. Just You want to be kind of gentle with it. It is still clay, but we want that nice stability mm -hmm. on there, so that's why I have it on the block. And I look at that and I say, you know, it's not really popping for me. It's not really working, so I'm going to embellish it just a little bit more. So another product that I have, and let me do it this way is a syringe. This is a really great product. It comes prepackaged with the clay in it. So you don't have to put that no. in there. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, that yeah. Be, oh. Easy. And the, yeah, easy. <laughs> See, I told you it would be easy. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, it has three nozzle sizes. This is the largest nozzle that it comes with, and it leaves like a uh, just a line mm -hmm. of clay. And you can see you start it just a little bit. This is much like cake decorating, where you want to lay right. the clay out as it's opposed nice to just sort of laying it flat. Even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I went ahead and I did the, uh, that on this piece already, and then I dried it again mm -hmm. to make sure everything was real dry. Very important that it's completely dry because when you go to use the kiln or the torch right. on the piece, it can actually break apart if there's any air bubbles or if uh -huh. it's not completely dry. Good. So at this stage, we're ready to use the torch. And the torch that you see here is just a regular butane torch that you, you would buy the butane for. Everywhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anywhere. And uh, the most important thing with the torch really is just to remember consistent heat, keep it at the same level all the time on the piece, mm -hmm. you know, evenly doing it. You wait for it to get a, a fiery red color, go about another three minutes and it's ready to go. And of course safety measures. Safety, of course, <laughs> always. Don't touch it when it's hot, right. you know, wear your safety goggles and mm -hmm. things like that. So you have to be real careful with that. The kiln again, preferred Perfect. method, it's constant heat, does right. it really nicely. So Great. And then I'm so what is it no, so what does it look like when it comes out? That's what it's gonna look like is this little white 
piece of um, metal. And actually what this is, is um, covered with a residue from the clay. And you could tell it did get a deeper, mm -hmm. more of a, a whiter it kind of look to it Very than much from so. before. Yeah. yeah. And you use just a fine wire brush to get mm -hmm. that off. And I'll show you, again, using the rubber block for stability and a little bit of pressure. Remember, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to get dirty. You can see that I'm just taking that right oh, off the that. top. And it's becoming the silver now that it's turned into in the firing process. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And you can just see the difference right like that. Mm -hmm. Now, once we got all of that off of there, I could look at it again and say, am I happy with that? Do I want to shine it up any? Mm -hmm. Maybe use a little bit of sandpaper. And you can do that mm -hmm. too. You can tumble it in a rock tumbler. The ring that I'm wearing was actually tumbled in a regular rock tumbler. Let's look at some of the other things you brought, Stephanie. Great. Some of them are made with many different techniques. There's a texture plate, a mold that we've used, the syringe, mm -hmm. a lot of different ways to use this product. That's great. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Well, today on our beading lesson, Katie helps you assemble your very own jewelry toolbox.